Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with fluxwithit.com and today I want to talk to you about the new building series I'm doing in conjunction with Synthrotech. So I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, synth DIY, how to get into it, uh, how much knowledge do you really need to be able to start working on your own circuits or modifying your own synthesizers and just having fun in general with synth DIY. So what I've decided to do is I'm writing a, a complete article series that will take you from not knowing anything about synth DIY up to being able to build kits and be able to build your own circuits and even uh, you know modify synthesizers, things of that nature. So we're going to start off uh, by you know just the, the general basics of what you need to buy. The intro article will be up on the site shortly and it's going to talk to you about everything from very cheap inexpensive things such as you know a cheap soldering iron there's lots of different brands to look at lots of different price points to look at i'm going to explain to you uh a little bit of the the benefits and um the the pros and cons of of you know going cheaper versus getting a little bit more expensive piece of gear in there you know what a circuit board is what a pad is what a resistor is capacitor what they do why we use them um how to solder you know things of that nature so head over to fluxwithit.com check out the article um, and we'll be learning a lot about how to build these kits now the project that we're going to do is going to be a pseudo weekly project series and what we're going to do is i will list all the necessary ingredients to build a very vicious uh sample and uh synthesis mangle box using a blank this is a blank plastic enclosure here, and I've gotten about seven different circuits from Synthrotech. And we're going to build each one of these circuits and combine them all together in a kind of modular way so that we can use this box to send samples into and, and mangle them or use it as a drone box, use it as a delay, all sorts of fun. So inside, uh, we're going to be doing a passive ring modulator. Uh, we'll be doing the, uh, you know, the 4093 Chaos NAND, uh, the VAC pack, which is a new product from Synthrotech that will allow us to actually um, add CV control where there's normally just a, an attenuator pot. Uh, then, you know, we're going to be doing the dirt filter on here as well, which I've already done a Euro rack module of. We're going to make everything powered from a 9-volt battery. So even if you don't have a Euro rack modular to put these sort of circuits in, that's not going to matter. We're going to do this off of 9-volt battery power supply. So you'll be able to have, this thing will be portable. You'll be able to take it around, show your friends what a nerd you are. Uh, it should be really fun. So... I really invite you to um, join the Producers Hangout Facebook group and also join the free newsletter over at uh, fluxwithit.com so that you can stay up with us. Uh, I'm going to be doing live building, uh, Q&A, lots of different events to try to help people out and I'll, I'll try to be as hands-on as possible to help other people understand how to do this. And again, I'm not an electrical engineer. I'm someone who's learning this stuff the same as you. So, you know, we're both going to be learning together. We're going to be expanding our knowledge and ending up with an awesome circuit uh, based around the ideas of the Synthrotech designs and then combining them in a way that I don't even think Synthrotech has done yet. So, Definitely check it out. I'll post the links to all the different uh, circuits that we're going to build so that if you want to purchase them, and uh, I'll also be posting all the different necessary supplies, everything from, uh, you know, solder, what type of solder to get, snips, um, you know, a third hand, and what these things are used for. So check it out over at fluxwithit.com. Peace.